Morning has broken like the first morning. It's half past six. I've woken up again. I had a long and busy day. I had somebody pull up next to me and sit here for a while. Anyway, I was going to wake up later anyway. Let's just have a look out the window. Cornwall. Look at that. Look at that beautiful place I'm in. I reckon I need a coffee now. I don't know. I need a coffee. And. I need to get moving. I've got a 300 mile drive to Wales today. So, I'll meet up with Mike and then we're going to go to Dan's. So, I'm, I'm having a, a more relaxing day apart from the horrible drive. Well, it's morning from my Cornish hilltop here. And uh, this is the start of day nine. Just uh, turning off my, my jet boil. So, we are having a nice pot of porridge and look, look who forgot to get the milk and was so disappointed when we thought, oh, coffee, but then remembered that he had some Nescafe sachets. So it's going to be uh, cappuccinos and, and everybody, it's day nine, which means new pants. I've gone for the big fat red ones, um, so I'll keep all my, all my tack on nice and secure. Which uh, was a consideration yesterday when I was tote fishing, to be fair. Well, I'm a bit fed up this morning. I've got a long drive that's going to take a lot of time. Um, divert to go and get a tank fill at a dive shop and closed. Nobody turned up, texted, called. I had a lovely chat with a fella from the boat shop next door, Chandler's next door. But uh, I wasted 40 minutes there plus driving time. I've, I've, lost, I've lost two or three hours somehow. So it's cost me time and money. So I'm really annoyed about that, but there you go. So I'm now at a farm shop. I'm gonna get myself another pasty. Just got a couple more minutes to wait. A nice big, fresh, hot jumbo pasty. Pasty time. This has just come out of the oven, so it's piping hot. Hopefully it's gonna be absolutely cracking. It's a jumbo one, so I'm surprised it's a small, but hey, never mind. Well, it is really good. It is really, really good. Pastry's lovely. The meat's good. Filling's good. Mmm. 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 Nicely filled. Mmm. Not sure if it's mince or... Steak, yeah, I think it's mince. Mmm. Good though. Well, I'm having a hell of a morning, actually. Well, it's afternoon now. It's been horrendous. Horrendous drive. So I left about half eight. Um, lost a load of time waiting around for a dive shop that didn't have any stuff up here, so I didn't get my tank fill. I diverted and then that sent me on a new route that added on loads of time extra. Still haven't got any milk. I've made myself another coffee in the services here, and uh, that's now going down again. It's a packet of coffee. So I reckon, whereas I thought I might be at Dan's by maybe two o'clock, three o'clock at latest, it's going to be at least six. Uh, I'm not happy. It's what it is though. It's what it is though. The M5's been absolutely mentally bad. So yeah, it's not great. Really started to have enough of this. I've literally... Oh, I left this morning, I had like less than five hours to go from where I was in Cornwall to where I was going in Wales. And until not long ago that was still whatever I did give me around about five hours to get there. I'm now three and a half hours to go. It's two o'clock. I left at half eight. It's five and a half hours. You know, even going slow and having stops, I'd expect it to be there fairly soon. So I literally crawled along the M5. Um, there's no reason for it. There's no road works. There's no breakdowns, there's no accidents. I haven't seen any reason for this. Just volume of traffic, but it doesn't even seem particularly bad. And it's just stop, start. So you've got like a queue and then nothing. You go fast, then a queue again. Oh man, it's just unbelievable. And uh, I'm following the sat nav, it's not giving me any alternatives. It's just saying, ah, congestion. 
I, I've got a window, mate. I can see there's fucking congestion. I mean, look at it. It's been like this the whole way. The whole damn way on the M5. The M5. I was better on the B11374695502 in wild bloody Cornwall. I mean, this is just unbelievable. I mean, <clears throat> the wide angle on the on the mobile is making it look less sort of like. Ah, oh, David Hathaway. Ah, oh, very nice. Quality should logistics. Never heard of him. But it's David Hathaway anyway. Um, yeah. Can't remember what I was saying. It's probably rubbish anyway. But whatever. I'm still doing better than Mike. He was doing really well. He's hours ahead of me. He's 20 miles past Swansea. He's got his new kayak on the roof. However, he's no longer doing better than me because he's now sitting there uh, waiting for recovery, I think. He's gone bang. His mini's gone bang. Um, so it's overheated and blown it. We don't know how bad yet. So we don't know if we've got blown head gasket, split hose, or what. But he just got on the M4 as well, so. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna screw the M4 up for me as well. Nice one, Mike. That's really considerate of you. Break down on the bloody M4 that was looking clear. You know, mess that up straight after the M5. Builders of the M25, please take note that the Prince of Wales Bridge, unlike the Queen Elizabeth II Bridge over the M25, is now free to drive over. Yes. Free, which the M25 should be. Oh, this is this is really nice. These cables are very thick. They look great. Lovely patterning. Nice, 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 nice. We like it. Look at the pretty patterns. Look at the pretty patterns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh man, that was cool. After six hours on the motorway, quite frankly, everything is cool. So it's not really that cool. There we go! Welcome to Wales! We made it! I do have something very, very big to announce right now. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have hit 1,000 miles. There we go. 1,000 miles of this trip since leaving home. Hit right here, just outside Clandavery. Woo, woo, woo! That's pretty good going. That's about a third of my estimated total. 1,000 miles done! Well, I've arrived at Dan's. Look at this, Dan Capel. How am I supposed to get in here and get out again? Well, Dan straight away stuck the cider in my hand, as he did with Mike, and... It was Mike's cider, though. I briefed yeah. him well. <laughs> so, anyway, we're coming to Kate, and this is... I straight away went, what an amazing kitchen, and my god, the smell, it's amazing. Not, not the smell of Dan, the smell of the kitchen. Oh, no, so, the smell of Dan. Look at this cooker. Look at it. Beautiful. Nice and open plan. We've got the beams there, we've got a big chopping board there, and that. Look now, what the bastards did, though. They just chopped a bit. They used to have a cupboard in this corner, and they just chopped the beam off to put the cupboard oh, in, and I they didn't the even bother. Really That's ridiculous. Yeah. So, this, you, you guys on here can't smell this, but look at this, what we've got going on here. See, we've got the coriander. We've got the chilies mixed with the coriander, and I guess that's cayenne pepper? Yep. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> We got the we got the chopped ginger. We got the lime. That's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a bit like Cambodian. <laughs> so what we used in this dish that yeah. you're gonna show me? So there is, so in that is gonna go black sesame, um, citron pepper, chili, fenugreek, that lot, black mustard seeds, asafoetida, 
bit of turmeric. Just quite, I've got to be careful not to go too heavy because it can numb your tongue. It can do. Medicinal, so. Okay, and, in, in and that is everything. So that is this absolutely is... everything on that table. Look at that. that. That's all of that. <laughs> Because we we like my shirt, which I've had on for That's nine days lovely. now. We're going to Nepal. And, and that so is what's, a what's this one? Lady's That's the goat. That's goat. Yeah. I think it's bird. Oh, that's good. It's, it's either bird seed or berry or Billy, but I yeah. think we finished bird We're of a treat, Mike. Yeah. Mike's like bug of the triumph. So I'm, I'm I'm just going full time kayaks now. Sorry? Uh, so this that's is the nice the second oh, sauce that then goes into simple. that. Oh, so look at that. that's Damn got um, tomatoes and onions and chilies and various other bits and bobs, <laughs> and then that gets yeah. into that at the end. Wow! Um, so you never and then that's jumping good. around. And then some, some very exciting <laughs> Jersey <laughs> Royals. Potatoes, excellent! Yeah. I haven't had potatoes for ages. Um, oh, wow! So what book are we using? What book are we using? This two is, acres just over there. To... That's yours. Yeah. yeah. Right. It doesn't so, have really. any pretty um, in, but So we've got two female goats at the moment. Well, I'm going to have to look that uh, one up. That's yeah, absolutely that, brilliant. Get that. It's on Amazon. Taste in the pool. Yeah, uh, Taste in the pool by Dioti Patak, who will probably kill me from this pronunciation. From Hippocrene Books, and I think it was about. That sounds good. Well, after I've eaten, <laughs> that's how they should be. After I've eaten, I shall perhaps order one. Yeah. But we'll wait and see. Well, I mean, that's fantastic. To me, I can't, that's too much pressure. I can't be an ambassador for the lovely, lovely person that can No, that's brilliant. I've never had Nepalese, so this is absolutely fantastic. That looks quite unappetizing, but mm. that's, oh, that's the, good. Yeah, that's, that's good. The, so I can smell that's the this one again. That's Sichuan and black sesame. Oh, that's well, really I'm going to go sparing because I'm adjusting the quantity. Look at that. We've got ginger and garlic and cherry tomatoes and chili and a red onion and coriander. This smells amazing. That's all. A bit of spicing. Time to make some noise. Oh, the dishwasher sings a victory song. It does. That's not your place, is it, boys and girls? <laughs> she even knows how to talk on my channel. Obviously, she's been doing her research. Go on in, Minion. Carry on clearing up. Oh, you're done with all this now, sir. Yes, thank you. If I had a cap, I'd doff it for you. I think you should. I still can't believe that you didn't slaughter a lamb for the arrival of the god, but there you go. He's one of our goats we will be eating. Yeah, well, you know, you're just trying to get on my goat. So, we've had the tools out because I have been trying to fix my reels ready for tomorrow's tape session because yesterday I'd buggered them. Meanwhile, Mike has been behaving well. Well, Mike is under here. Mike, what have you been up to today? What have you been up to this evening? Oh, mainly trying to fix a car. So, Mike barely managed to get here. Barely managed to get here. Just managed to get here and now had to fix it again. Are so you impressed with the, with the Viking uh, initiative being taken here using the minimal amount of tools to try and fix everything? That ain't going to work. I mean, in all fairness, he's used the bit of scrap gas pipe what, to fix the, the German to Mini. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention to him the screeching of my gearbox. <laughs> right, I'm always telling Al that everybody fancies me. Dharma, Dharma, come here. Now this is Dharma. Dharma, Dharma has just come over and humped my leg. And He's apparently that's that the first time. Years, yeah, it shows I'm how sexy trapped. I am. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go, Al. I told you. I told you. Yeah, now, unfortunately for Dharma, I've been away for nine days. So <laughs> he'd better keep out of the way. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so we're sitting down for it now, and this they looks. It smells gorgeous. Look oh, at that. Neat. So we got and asparagus. Not yeah. okra. It looks like okra, but it's asparagus. We've got the potatoes and the chilies, and then we've got the goat, which is Barry, wasn't it? No, Who's Barry, Barry? Barry, that's or Barry. Barry or Bertie or whatever. We'll say Barry, because that's the name of my boss, well, the ops manager. Barry the goat. Thank you, Kate, that's absolutely <laughs> marvellous. That is really stunning. Okay. Thank you for our welcome. Yeah. Mike as well, who, who's only just met other kayak fishermen and has realised that <laughs> Despite me being a god, I'm nothing special. <laughs> now there's there's that's my Insta. That's, no, I don't have Instagram. I'm too old for that. There's my starter. Look at that. TikTok. That's going to be amazing. I'm I'm just oh shut up. 